Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gladius Warhammer 40k Relics of War. My name is Iken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of very very difficult uh, difficulty and we are about to push in the orcs even further. This might be the last episode of it. If you enjoy Gladius uh, Relic of War content uh, then definitely leave a comment down below and let me know because there are a lot of other scenarios we've just fought against the orcs. We can definitely fight as someone else, maybe tag teaming, maybe dealing with a bit more um, problematic units, or maybe playing a co-op version with Chris. Who knows? All of these are options. If you like to see more of the content of strategy games, leave a comment down below. But now let's dive into the actual uh, fight here. We have been surprised on this side and uh, this side indeed has been opened I don't like it so we're we will need to get rid of some of uh, the vehicles moving up Tanks are decent enough in keeping the front line. We are shifting a little bit just to make sure that all of the vehicles on this side die. In the meantime, let's oops, jump in and kill the boys here. Good, lots of damage on Gorgonaut, which is where we want to see it. Levitating back and let's create a dome here. We want to kill more of these units. Aren't those machines? No, that little goblin is in there. Oh, God damn it. Okay, slowly but surely wielding them down. Good, we can't deploy another city. Can we, by the way, build another city? Yeah. Yeah, no. We only have one city. We're not like the orcs. But we need more healing on the front line, that's a given. Okay, and definitely I would like to get some more front line into the front line. So three more rounds and then we could engage. For the time being, let's get these guys here down. These are Meganops here.
close the ranks. Move up. And I would like to get these cannons destroyed as well. They are absolutely annoying. Move up here. We will bolter melt of a big boy. 18 points of damage. Lovely. That's what you like to see. Good, moving into the middle and no, 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 we're not done. Another dome. Good, we're closing the front line soon. In the meantime, we also got Bolter on these fortresses now. And our captain begins to move over. What did this here give us? More loyalty. Loyalty is always good. We might as well want to capture that one. Okay. More production. Let's start with that. And with that. Cool. Oh yeah, they are at a bad spot. Two more turns until we can heal again. In the meantime, let's get these guns. These are mechanical units. Okay, cool. Well, in that case... They start disappearing quite fast. Good, killer cans, almost done. Moving it in and killing them. Very nice. Dogtown, 22. Plan to teach that war boss a lesson. And directly one-shotting the tank busters. Good, we're moving up. Time to uh, get that war boss down. We can see flyers back there. I don't like that. So what we're going to do is... 
going to put our anti-air units back here. The moment that the flyer comes in, they will be up for a surprise. Skip. Um, moving up. Skip. Skip. And... We need more healing at the front line. Could get another chaplain, should we? 360, 400. And we don't have that much yet. I like the idea of another chaplain though, so here we go. We can drop ship him in. More healing. The AoE heal is just fantastic. Overwatch triggered. Almost down, but not yet. Okay, okay. Uh oh. Okay. Game okay, has a problem. Okay, back. Cool. One more turn until until we are okay. Uh, can we kill this one? Yeah, we can. Move up. Levitate back to here. We want to deal with these guys. Now, we do have a problem with the flyer still. But anti-air is fine. I wouldn't say it is like a hard counter. Mainly because it does not deal in, in my perspective, it does not deal enough damage in order to really be considered a hard counter. That's a hard counter if you can almost one shot something, but if you require three or four attempts to even get it, not so much. Let's chuck through the war boss. This guy is almost down. And that's a solid kill for everyone. Frontline decides to heal. Those orc bosses are dealing a lot of damage. Hit on the war boss. standing in in wild wheat oh not good This should be a kill, right? Yeah. Cool. Uh, 
Uh, well, for starters, let's decrease their morale. That's always helpful. Next turn, I will likely heal. Okay, and I think we're fine. Another anti-air would be nice, but not needed. I think we're okay. They haven't really done an outstanding job so far. Ah, oh, there's more air. You hate to see it. How can this guy here be out of bounds and still stand there? Oh wow. Flash is weak. So we got a tactic here. Plus 17% feel no pain uh, for 10 rounds. Okay, well, we're going to do that immediately. Love it. Um, increases armor penetration of missile and blast weapons. I think that is something we could get behind. Good. We now need a good healing. So if I move a bit back. be one two three he needs it more three and four okay that and that Putting a dome up here. Free damage increase. And then healing. Good, we got a lot of airplanes. We got a lot of airplanes and we need to focus them down. You can already see that they are going for our backline and that will be painful. Also need to deal with this guy down here so one plane down try to bind him as close as I can Meantime, kill the tank busters here. Good, that war boss on the other side needs needs to die here. So let's focus on getting him down.
Hmm, what else do we have? I think this one here is just overwatching. Don't have the mechanicals at the moment. Can't shockwave. Could we fly over here, but... Mm. Yeah, why not? Um, moves over here, just so that he's not in danger anymore. Moving another chaplain in. And we're dropshipping a few more Devastator Marines in. I think for now we're good. We have enough. Um, yeah, we're good. Yeah, we lost a few Devastator Marines in the front. To be honest, that was to be expected. Good, everybody heals. The guy's almost dead. Let's get those flyers down. Anti-air really helps. Get moving further in. For whatever re oh i now do understand this here is a cliff and we could actually move up that's also why you can't kind of uh, just move down i see are these humanoids or machines now they are humanoids Let's put a dome up. Good. Moving up. And... Shockwave will kill him. Finally. Dealing damage from the second row. If the copters are taking a lot of damage, and we can hit the guns. Yeah, we got a solid standing front line. Just need to make sure that the one uh, that it does not break.
Okay, we're going to go for the war boss here. Bring in more front line and end of turn. The city is so overcrowded. Unbelievable. Yeah, the moment that they can reach our back line, we do have a problem. Okay, let's get the air down first. One and two and three and four. Good, five. And six, very nice. Moves forward, bit of intimidation. And did I not die? Damn it. Very nice, good, very good. Let's see what which ones can we reach. Well, we could move to here. Not a bad, uh, not a bad place. Okay, and we're just going to move back. Fantastic, good. Well, our city becomes a bit of a chore at this point in the game. Can we get more Devastator Marines? Yes, we could. Energy is fine. We have enough research. At least it seems like that. Good. Let's get more requisition because apparently you cannot ever have enough requisition. So many enemies, but I think our front line is still standing ultra strong. I mean, look at that captain here, yeah, in danger. Whoosh, get seven hit points back, not even a scratch anymore.
slowly but surely killing those pesky air uh, units. Librarian, shockwaves. He is having a super good position here. De facto cannot be melee attacked. Range attack is not very effective against him. Good, we need to focus. Oh, let's deal a little bit more damage, everybody. Okay, let's use get hot, that always works very well. Kill the war buggies. And I think we're pretty much good to go. Soon I'll place another fortress in here, just to get a bit more um, front line and vision. That's why I hate flyers, and you cannot really do much about it. Okay, let's give it one more turn. I think we're almost done. I think it's fair to say that we have won this one. Um, increase the armor of storm ravens and storm tail and gunships. We don't even have that. I think it's it's so far fair to say that we have won this one. Yes, I don't think there is anything really that will that will prevent us from rushing through them. What I'm noticing is we're more and more pushing in, of course. We're losing a, for, a few minor units, but the main units, specifically the um, the heroes, are carrying this one so so well. And with the exception of the odd um, air unit that from time to time just pushes through. Nothing really is challenging us uh, here. When I say challenging, I mean challenges our reign. I mean, look at that. A couple of tank busters, and we're just moving in with our melee units. Birth. Done. Go. Dogtown slowly but surely falls into our hands as well.
and once this big machine falls i think everybody else uh, will just follow pursuit one more round until telekinetic dome is back up and then we're safe again uh, in the meantime let's create a couple of devastators more anti-air end of turn The heroes are just standing in the front line, ignoring all of the nonsense. Bit of heal up. Good, off we go with that Gorkanov. Solid hit. Heating this guy up. Uh, we're just moving over here and getting some more space over here. Telekinetic dome. The boys are being attacked, more like slaughtered. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste uh, shots on boys. Good, in the meantime, let's destroy this one. And let's get the tank busters. Uh, we're keeping these for Overwatch just in case more flyers are coming up. And continuing to deal with Gorkonov. Once we uh, destroyed this uh, town, I think it's fair to say that we've won. Okay, that should trigger overwatches. Yes, it does. Gorky boys. Okay, they seem to be a bit stronger. Oh yeah, they they definitely are a bit stronger. Good, problem solved. That's a solid kill right there. And And we're positioning ourselves here. Very good. Oh, 
Okay, boys. Almost down 17 hit points. No, no, no. Oh, okay, well, never mind. Apparently we're positioning our snipers now up here. Good, let's get... Oh, there are a couple of flyers over here. Interesting. I haven't seen them. Good, there we go. Moving forward. Might as well move to here and put a telekinetic dome up. Because why not? Okay, cool. Let's go and do this round in the city. We got reinforcements coming. We could even uh, build new heroes. A bit more electricity. And we're done. This is crazy, they are just producing so many units that all they are trying to do is just push you back. And essentially the whole thing here becomes a huge push fest. Who can push who can push the other side faster? We know you're there. Okay, that was almost no damage. Interesting. Let's get these guys down. Good. The reason why I wanted that orbital strike is I need to push forward. There you go. Like I said, it's a game of pushing faster than the enemy. Good, moves in. And we're working on that boss tower. Uh, 
Uh, well, let's move to here. Good. Uh, we want to definitely deal with the war buggies. Skip this unit and we got another chaplain. Healing. And all the nice abilities are ready to go. Uh, where would we want to put him? I think pretty much over here would be fine. Or the other alternative is put him here, get him equipped, and then he can move. Healing. Defense. I think that repair item isn't bad and and just in case a bit of self heal okay cool whilst we're there about we're also getting a dusk blade and one more of these cloaks because that we can give to our frontline champion. We could get yet another champion here. Starting to become quite expensive, but the upkeep is actually not that expensive. And since the frontline units are almost indestructible at this point, might as well do that. Lots of overwatch, but it wasn't enough. See, that's... Oh, it stinks. Let's heal everybody here. Very nice. That's two down. Time. Let's get that uh, mega city down. Okay, still can't. 
hit uh, that city, but I think we're okay nonetheless. Let's just stay here. Good. We're taking the city. And as you can see, we're really slowly pushing them back. The biggest units are pushed back and there's yet another city. Skip two of the units and end turn. Okay. I don't want to end this episode in this playthrough without getting that stupid city dock town down. We've worked too damn hard to not let that get down. start with the city. One, two, doesn't look like much but it is actually quite a bit of damage. Telekinetic dome. Continuing to get the city down. Good, we're moving forward. Still not a hundred percent convinced. But uh, that we can't uh, take the city. Oh, it's so many hit points. What? 207. Unbelievable. Good. Moving up. Let's get those battle wagons. Very nice hit. And yeah, if you can somehow control kind of their bigger units and not let them uh, reach your uh, your front line they're actually going to be very much okay that and that and that for the next three turns thank you almost tier 10 Good, I think they are giving up their stupid city. Oh no.
Look who found its way to the back line. Air. And no matter how often you destroy them, it always seems that they are coming back. The production uh, quality of uh, this guy is off the charts. He, I don't know how he does it, but I can only assume that the AI gets so much more resources. I mean, just look at the sit uh, size of his cities. Good. We're finally moving up. Slow push. It's a very slow push. Okay, moving up even further. We're now bypassing the city on both sides. our big fat shock waves because they are dealing a lot of damage as well city is almost smashed good end turn Very, very soon, this will also end this playthrough, once the city finally falls. Yeah, our front line is indestructible at this point. There is nothing that uh, can really stop us. Wow. Moves to here. Who was the poor guy who did not have anything? Okay. So, in that case, take the sword. And take this jacket. Thank you. Whilst we're at it. Everybody deals more damage and one last turn healing up. Good, cool. Yeah. Listen, guys, this was uh, Gladius or Hammer uh, Relics of War. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the playthrough. It is a fun game. I can recommend it. If you want to see more Gladius Relics of War, and then you know where to find uh, the like button and the comment function it's exactly what i need a couple of um, supporting words as the emperor's light shines the brightest when he is uh, supported 
I fully understood in one playthrough, sort of understood, how to deal uh, with that game. It's not an easy one, but it is definitely an interesting one. So if you if you feel that it is worth your uh, time and energy, then give it might uh, want to give it a try as well. It uh, was a fun run against the orcs. Uh, we uh, cleared the south, and then really the majority of the battle had here in the middle of uh, the map. At this point, I think it's fair to say that we have very much um, bested most of their defenses, so there's not much that they could do against us. Um, so I call it a win, although it's not officially over yet, but it's pretty likely to be over. Good, and that concludes it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one, and take care, guys. Bye-bye.